He just had a great background. He knew how to build doors and windows and stone. And, and Took a welding <clears throat> course. It was, it was fun to see him at the brewery running around and uh, showing us his lab, which was like a broom closet. Uh, very hush-hush about the ingredients, as if we had any desire or, or ability to make anything <laughs> but beside an omelet in the kitchen here. You know? It was an honor to have him think that we actually knew what he was talking about yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Rob came at it from the perspective of the craft in a way that very few people have in the whole industry. Choosing to go outside of the mainstream for craft brewing at that time was really cool. The white style and then therefore Allagash White at that time was, I mean people just didn't know what to think of these of that beer. And so we ran into that hurdle at you know every bar that we tried to get the beer on, every event we ever poured the beer at. The early days were really struggling. Why is this beer cloudy? Why does it smell, you know, this beer must be infected. It smells funny. Yeah, I think they diversified what a beer could be. I mean, I remember Rob telling me one day that he'd go up to somebody and have a bottle of beer and they'd look at it and go, what is this? You know, right, this it was cloudy, hazy, hazy <laughs> Belgian beer. And Coriander and a beer didn't sound really uh, where the market might be going at the time. But uh, since then, obviously, we're, we're all proven wrong. They paved the way in a, lot, in a lot of ways, whether it was to formulating the, the laws and regulations under which we operate in Maine, um, and just opening up consumers' eyes to craft beer and what it could be, uh, made it a lot easier for brewers like myself when we wanted to start to, to enter the market. I feel so fortunate to be able to work with Rob and the Allagash team. They just get it, they get philanthropy. He is a huge supporter of the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital. About 10 years ago, he established the Allagash Pediatric Nursing Scholarship. They've raised over $170,000 uh, for this scholarship over the last 10 years. And not only that, but he supports Maine Medical Center as well as the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital and has raised almost $250,000 in total. Rob has supported over 90 uh, scholarships at this point with all that funding. I've known Rob for a couple of years. I sought him out as a mentor. He has a very generous spirit and uh, welcomed me to the table to have a conversation uh, to mentor me about my own business. I think the first time we met formally was right when we were starting our brewery. He was gracious enough to sit down with me and my brother and give us some advice on starting a brewery. He's more than happy to kind of give you some words of wisdom, give you, give you some honest and, and frank advice. He's very giving in that way, and as is his whole company. They started to purchase some of our wheat and oats from us. I think the excitement led them to develop 16 counties, a beer at Allagash that now gives back a portion of those proceeds to good causes in Maine, like the Maine Grain Alliance, Maine Farmland Trust, and the Maine Organic Farmer and Gardeners Association. And I think the junior achievement students can really learn from that, that you have to give back and support your surrounding community and that will strengthen your business. And that's a wonderful example. And not only uh, can you make your dreams a reality, but Rob is doing it in a fashion that is um, good for Maine, good for his employees, good for the earth, um, all at the same time. I went to a Bruins game last year and had an Allagash White at the Garden. I mean, I, if you had told me that that was going to happen, I would have thought you were completely crazy. I did a quick count. In the last 12 months, we've sold about over 12,000 pints. Certainly that's what Rob has done. He took a passion of his and his own curiosity and he turned it into a very successful business. I'm sure he'd be the first to tell you it wasn't easy. Rob not only leads by example, but he loves what he does. and. How can you not love what you do? I mean, he makes delicious beer. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I remember that now. I, every time an aspiring brewery owner comes and asks me questions or wants to sit down over a beer and talk about the industry, I, I remember the time that Rob took, and I'm more than happy to kind of pay it forward just like Rob did.